Welcome back to yet another episode of the Skill Move tutorial series where I show you how, where, and when to perform skill moves, lads. Today we're breaking down the fake trad back. What a skill move this is for beating the defenders one on one as they're approaching you whilst you're standing still. About to break it down for you. Griezmann, three men around him to somehow find some space. Ronaldo, fantastic opening the drag back. He's made himself the tiniest bit of space. Yeah, a, almost feels like a bit of a toy. Didn't really go for him. Oh! It's a display there. Absolutely ridiculous. The last kick on the goal line. On the goal line, the finest. We talked about Ozzy Cooper. He's not here to make up the numbers. The drag back fake can be performed by holding in R1 and L1 at the same time, or if you're on Xbox, RB and LB, and basically using that left stick to drag the ball back, go to the left of the player onto where he's facing, so around to three o'clock, and then back around to nine o'clock. So it's like a, it's like you're trying to create an arc motion. So it's going back around to nine or three, depending on which way you want to actually do the fake drag back, and then back around to the opposite side, okay, to nine o'clock. And basically the player will perform Form the fake drag back where he drags it back, looks one way and then feints the opposite way. The best place to use this skill move in my opinion is inside the box. Is it best used in the midfield or wing? No it's not because I feel like something that you're better off using in the box to create an angle for the shot because defenders don't really expect it and that's why it's quite useful in that certain situation. The best time to use this is when you have a defender approaching you. He's one on one with you, you have stopped the ball and you want to get past him by bursting either to the left or either to the right to where he is facing. Now lads, this is very good as he just is about to make that tackle because you can burst past it onto the left or either to the right to then obviously get that shot off. Now it's quite useful in that particular situation because you can get it onto the player's strong foot. The one that you're controlling, you can get it onto his strong foot to get the shot off. And that's why for me, I find it's quite a useful situation skill move in the bots to get an angle for the shot. Um, in terms of my rating though, it's quite limited in where you can use it in my opinion. So the rating I'm going to give it today is around a 2.5 out of 3 because I feel like it's limited as I said, it's not as versatile as other skill moves and lads at the end of the day there's easier ones for you guys to perform to do the same job. So in my opinion it's a 2.5 out of 5 stars rating.